Good afternoon, my little potato chips. We Paddy from across the shock, and I have another nice wee video for you today. This is my first proper um, Victorian Ox review, and I'm hope we've got the, all the information right. I've got all the 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 pictures of them, and I've, I think I've got the names right, but it's still not that easy <laughs> for me. I'll have to say. Okay, what have I got for you today? I've got two 84 millimeter knives. And they're a lovely size, I have to say, a little bit smaller than, you, you know, your regular Spartans and all that. They're 91. This is 84, which I absolutely love, I have to believe, say. So I've got a Victorian Ox and I've got a Wenger. Very lucky to get that. Uh, really pleased. I've been able to get most of my knives um, from my mate Justin, but more importantly from Daniel over on Instagram and uh, Etsy who sells these at prices that I just think they're great. They're, you know, I have no problem getting them, but when I get them off them, I know they're going to be good. That's the important thing. I'll put his name down in the description if you want to go and try and check out what he's got. He's got plenty of knives at the minute, updating daily nearly. But as you look at them, I've just noticed this, and I didn't notice it before. This would be the, uh, the cover, the front cover of a knife, because you've got the two badges there, or whatever they call them on uh, Victoria Knox. Shields, let's say shields, but look the way the blades, the blades are coming from the opposite sides and I didn't notice that before. Isn't that interesting? And there's a, a cutout here for one of the back blades on the winger. Now let's, let's just, I just want to go through some of the basics so that I'm getting it right for you. So if you're not a Victorian act person, I really want to get it right. I want the information to be good and I know that my subs it's only between us nobody else it's just between me and the subs so anybody that knows please put me right or wrong you'll notice on the back you have advertising sometimes on the back and, and sometimes on the front i much prefer it on the back because i like that clean front with the the shield but this is starlinger no idea who it is um, it's not important, it's just a company so this is your can opener with a little screwdriver this is your bottle opener with a, a larger screwdriver. This can also be used in the Phillips screwdrivers. Uh, there's a, a what, should I, what do you call it? Uh, a wire stripper. I've never used that, I have to say. Um, there's no, um, let me see. No, there's no filing down on this side. I believe some of them used to have the, the side file down for wire stripping, but uh, there we go. So that's the, the main two. That you'll get on most Victorian ox knives. You have the pen blade, which is a slim spear point uh, as the master blade, nice blade. And I'm going to show you the tang stamps in a minute, but I'm going to go through these first. And it also comes with a pen blade. So this to me is a really nice secondary knife to carry with me. One that I can give somebody and let them use it if they need a knife rather than you know my main carry, which will be in this slip. Um, so it's a nice knife for that. It's got a toothpick, it's got tweezers, both of which I probably won't use. I'll use the toothpick to poke things and not my teeth because um, these are second-hand knives. But, you know, whether will I use them? Probably not. If I can get the scale fight, it'll be the point of a knife I use and then suck it or bite it out, and that's about it. But the other tools are really useful because you just never know when you're going to need them. And it's nice to have a secondary knife that has got additional uh, tools at your disposal. So that's nice. So I'm really enjoying changing my secondary uh, carry now. I have got so many choices of knives to do. And that's brilliant. I love getting up and not knowing what I'm going to carry for that day. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, and I'm sure you're all the same. This is a winger, 84 millimeter, two layer as well. But it has a few more tools. Now, I believe this is called, that's a recruit. And this is the standard, I believe. It's much the same tools that you would have on a, a Spartan, I think. Um, you have an aisle, you have a corkscrew, and then you have this can opener and bottle opener screwdriver. Now, this is where these two different, and I'm going to try and get these up. I left this red background because I thought you'd be able to see the tools better against the, the background. So, this is the Wenger. Let's put these two together. The winger seems to be a little bit bigger in the, the bottle opener. You can see how that sits up higher. It's probably not bigger as a tool, but it sits up higher on the knife. 
Am I saying that? Uh, I think I'm just waffling. Well, it's a little bit bigger. But they, they both have wire strippers, they're bottle openers, and a, and a good size screwdriver. The, the Wanger is probably a, a narrower, well, it is a narrower, than the Victoria Knox, which is probably more in the use that I'm going to use these for. That's getting on to the much bigger flatheads that we very rarely see here now. The little small screwdriver on here can be used for the Phillips. The, the, cap, the can opener on this one doesn't have a small screwdriver, so... Victoria Knox maybe has the one up for that. Um, but I'm going to put these together. And again, you'll see the difference. That is a big can opener, isn't it? This to me looks like it will work much better than this. I will do a review and test the two of them out and see which one does the better job. And I'm sure they'll both do it. Hey, opening a can is opening a can. It's not that complicated. So. This is the Victoria Knox main blade, the pen or spear. And this is, on this side, this is the um, the winger. And there is a huge difference, I think, for small blades. You can see this is a spear pen uh, blade. And this one has a belly. This one really has a lovely big belly here. As you can see, that's the belly there. It has a nice belly. And... The nail necks are not the same, but they work equally as well. The difference is that the Wenger is a longer blade, but much thinner than the Victoria Knox. Um, although they both come down to decent points, this one is definitely going to be the slicey knife. If you're going to use this, you know, for going to work or whatever you're going to be used for, and you want to slice a sandwich at your cocktail party, this is the party knife. This is the church knife. This one has a corkscrew, so it's got to be the party knife. So for this one, it's going to slice better, thinner blade, and that belly is great for getting down on the, the boards or whatever, better than the, the lesser belly. So you can see it there. This one is also taller across here, which, again, I like. I like the taller blade. Again, I think it adds in the slicing dimension. But it's, um yeah, they're about the same size at the base, but that belly makes a difference. I prefer this knife already. I'm making a decision on this. The snap, I, I, I find, now I don't know whether this is just because I think this one is older than this one. The snap on the winger is not as crisp as the Victoria Knox. If that's a thing, let me know. The winger actually looks, let me do it. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually taller. The winger is taller across this way than the Victoria Knox. I, I, I really hadn't noticed that. Yeah, you can see that's a big difference. So if I put them flat on there, you can see how much bigger the winger is than the Victorian Ox. But you don't notice in pocket because it's across the way. It's just slipping into your pocket. I didn't notice it at all until there now. The uh, winger, that just seems to be like, I don't know. Is that a sticker or just plastic? I don't know whether it's plastic or G10. Again, it's flat. So I'm not sure what this is. This looks like it's... Uh, I don't know whether whether it's nickel silver or something there. It's it's bright and shiny, but um I'll let you see. But again, it's flat, so I'm not sure what that's put in. Please let me know if you know on either of them what, what they do that. The difference in the winger than the recruit recruit is the winger has a lovely corkscrew. Good sturdy corkscrew, canted back as well for ease of pulling out of the bottle, which is really nice. Good, sturdy corkscrew. Ow, that hurts. And then the, what would you call it? It really is just an oil. It's just for poking a hole in your belt or whatever. It's not over sharp, but it's a point that will go through leather. There's not a problem. Or into a bit of wood, whichever you wanted to use it for. Handy to have, I suppose, if you if your belt breaks and uh, you, you can fix it or somebody else's, you can fix it. You can be the handy man. Now, what else do I notice about them? Right, let's let's have a look on the main tang and see what it says on both of these. And then maybe you can tell me if that, what era that's going to put them in. The Victorian Ox, let me get this up to you. There we are. It just says Victorian Ox, Swiss made, stainless on that side. There you go. And then on the other side, it says Officer Swiss. 
I have no idea what that age is. I haven't read all the stuff, so please again help me. On the winger, it says, oh, this is four. This is a four there, and it says winger, Delamont, Switzerland, stainless. And it has the bow and arrow there, and on the back there's nothing. So I thought I seen something on the back. No, didn't know. Oh, well. So if that helps with dating them, please let me know. It would be lovely to know what date they are. Um, I think this is pretty modern. This looks like it might have a wee bit of age to it. Um, but the difference on this, rather than the pen blade, which you get on the um, Victorian Ox, you get the file, the nail file, and a nail cleaner rather than the pen blade. Um, this is going to be an EDC knife, my church knife or whatever. So having the two blades is a better carry for that. This is going to be the party knife. I'm hoping I'm not going to need any blades, but it'll cut up a lemon for me for me gin and tonic if I drank, but I don't. So, But it's there to cut somebody else's up. But that's a lovely thing to have. You know, look, if you get a little rag nail at a party, you don't want it caught in a silk dress. The last thing you want is to rip a silk dress or put a pluck in it. This is brilliant. So there you go. Two lovely knives. Really pleased to have them. Um, I can take them. You know, I can take either or and they'll do me for my secondary knife. But it's nice to have knives. I've got so many of them. You know, if I'm going to a party, this would be a good one to have. You know, because somebody's, you know, the, the, the wine corkscrew, whatever they have in their house might break. You've got one on you. Mr. Handy. I love being Mr. Handy. I love somebody to say, anybody got a knife? Yes, please. And there's, a, there's my conversation starter. Because otherwise, I'm inept at social functions it's that long since I, I you know i just don't go to many so i'm inept so it's great to have a knife to talk about <laughs> so there you go that's my first introduction to uh victorian ox and wenger and uh i'm really enjoying this i hope you like these videos because they're, they're just interesting to me i'm enjoying finding out about another side of this hobby take care i'm away for a cup of tea have a nice day